It's the man of the hour. Oh gosh. So, <laughs> no pressure. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be nice. Thank you. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna um, start by asking, other than the classic stuff, because yeah. the classic stuff has been beaten to death, what do you think worked and didn't work from season three, and what would you change? What would you have changed? Well, the truth is, we can't obviously go backwards and, and redo anything. Uh, we can only try to sort of figure out what worked and what didn't and, and, and do better going forward. I think that what I will say is there wasn't enough, probably there wasn't enough hope or, 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 or wins. There weren't enough funny moments in the show last season. Definitely. I was in a dark place. I'm not quite sure what I was, you know, I must have been exercising some demons. Uh, because I really did want to challenge the audience in a, in a way. I wanted to tell that story, um, which was a story about the loss of control. Ultimately, it was the story about a thing taking over your body and forcing you to, and not caring about your body. She would do anything to get you to take the chip because all she cared about was your mind. And it led to some really, really awful, and I thought, fascinating things. Um, but, you know, one of the things that I noticed was the go-to sort of comic relief was always Jasper and Monty. And they, last season, were on their own really dark storylines. And so we would cut to the comic relief and we would get more, you know, sadness. And so, you know, that, I think, is something that we were, will definitely try to do I, I think my, and I'll be honest, my number one issue with the show, again, wasn't Plexa, it was the fact that every character was so dark that it became like they became irredeemable. Even Clark, who's one of my all-time favorite TV characters, is so self-involved the entire season. And I just mm. want to know, and don't even get me started on Bellamy, but I just want to know how do you bring those characters back without kind of destroying what you did to them this season? Well, Where it would be our day? We'll never forget what happened, for sure. I mean, we're going to continue the journeys of those characters. I feel like I disagree with the... the uh, what the way you just characterized Clark. Mm -hmm. For sure, Bellamy uh, had a really dark turn last season. And to me, it was consistent. I, I understood all of the things that he was doing and why he was doing them. I think we did it too quickly. Mm -hmm. And there was certainly um, one of the downsides of seeing the show, you know, week after week instead of the binge experiences. You don't get to episode five mm -hmm. until the way it broke for the press was like we gave you guys four episodes and you had him for like four months and you had to live with, wait, why would Bellamy do that? He would never do that. And then in five, he kind of explained it. So, you know, but I hear you. I, I You know, for me, character development doesn't always have to be in the positive direction. You don't always have to make people go from like dark to light. You can, you can backslide and you can do horrible things. And they're just trying to save their people. And the story that we've always told is, how far will you go to stay, save your people? And one of the way, ways that we, I think, answer the question that you asked, which is a good one, is, do they deserve to survive? You know, they're facing an unsurvivable thing. And not all of them, there won't be enough lifeboats for them this season. And do they deserve those seats? But, but the problem was, it didn't seem like they had to do that. And, and that was the problem, because Bellamy killed like 300 people. It was a then, preemptive strike, for sure. And, you know, I think preemptive strike is, I personally think it's a disgusting tactic. But we live in a, war, in a world right now where, you know, we... The government of the United States sometimes does things preemptively to prevent something terrible from happening, and that's what he thought was behind his actions in that particular story. And then what can fans he was expect, wrong. What can fans expect for season three? From season four? Or four, sorry. Uh, well, I think season four, it's a totally different story. The way we've always sort of changed it up every season, you know, season one was the origin story, season two was Mount Weather, season three was the AI, and season four is the world strikes back, the earth itself, the environment starts to break down and weird things start happening, animals start behaving in strange, terrifying ways, and so they'll quickly realize they can't survive this thing on the ground, and it won't be about stopping it, it'll be about who survives, and again, back to the question, 
do they deserve to? And Bellamy doesn't think he does. And so it'll be ultimately, you know, an interesting journey for him to see whether or not he makes it out. I know people have been like, oh, Bellamy's been redeemed. And I personally don't think that he was. I think he just barely started that. So do yeah. we get that? Is that going to take a while? And then to kind of get his... Bellamy hasn't been redeemed at all in my mind, and, and you know, if Bob isn't here today, I, he and I have talked a lot about the fact that we like Bellamy when he lives in the gray, we like him as a character who sort of is emotional and impulsive and, and all, doesn't always think his actions through, and this time he, was, he made a bad choice, a hugely bad choice, and he'll live with the results of that, but he's still living with the results of throwing the radio away, which led to the culling on the arc in season one. And the guy's, you know, he's changed quite a bit, but he's still the same uh, person. And we're not, like, trying to redeem him for that. I, I'm not trying to redeem him for the death of those 300 people. He did that, and he'll always have to uh, be judged. And at the end of the day, again, you know, we'll ask the question in a big way, does he deserve to survive when not everybody will? Um, because of what he 